Hey guys, Vlogdare here, and uh, today I am doing the tutorial for the Ender Mini Enderman Farm. So, to get things started, you want to come about 200 blocks at least from the end island. I am about 400 blocks out. And you want to build a 7x7 platform, making sure it is well lit. I highly recommend putting some glowstone in the floor. So, uh, you'll have your one middle block, and you want to build out three on every side of that, and make a square platform. Once you've got that done, you want to come, you want to choose two sides and build a row of soul sand up a diagonal one from each side should look like this now keep in mind that I'm building this bare minimum you can make it however you want as long as you've got the basic functions in place once you've got your soul sand, you want to build a ring around the top of it, like this. It should be a seven long hole in the interior, centered over the soul sand, and it should stick out one block in every direction. Now, whatever I do on this side, you're going to repeat mirrored on this side so keep that in mind now that you've done that you want to take slabs and place them all along the top of here ah, come on lag I have two instances of minecraft running so that I can, you know, take measurements and stuff, so don't be surprised if I have a little more lag than normal. Then what you'll want to do is place upside down slabs as a ceiling over the whole thing in between those two, um, those two circles. And you want to put water across the center line of that. Now if you put it at the correct height, it should stop right... Dang it. Sorry about that little mishap, that was entirely my fault. Eh, uh, yeah. But if you did it right, unlike I did, the water should stop at the same level as your initial platform. Now, you've got the basic structure of the bottom of the Enderman farm done. What you want to do now is come up two blocks from each of your slab rings and make another ring the same shape out of cobble. Come up like this Oops. and again make another ring. This is typical Enderman arm stuff, just at a bit smaller scale. Keep in mind that you will be doing this on this side, and you should repeat these rings all the way up to level 39. Once you're done, each side should look like this side does. Now that you've done that, you'll want to build up another ring directly on top of this top ring, which, by the way, is oh boy okay um, okay I can work with this okay anyway you'll want to build up to around level 39 in fact uh, that is weird hang on a sec Oh, I did all those right. Huh, weird. Anyway, you'll want to build up another one, and then you'll want to grab vines and buttons. You'll want to place vines along like this, and 
buttons along like this. Be careful not to place them in your vines. The buttons will stop the vines from growing. You can also use string, but, you know. Whew. Now that you've done that, you can copy it on the other side and move on to the spawning platforms. Okay, guys, sorry. That was my screw up. I screwed up on my measurements. You actually want to start this at layer 40. So, right here, I get my feet at the same level as the bottom of the too high ring. It's level 40. I missed a ring and in my measurements. So, sorry about that. Uh, go ahead and go back to building the other side. Now that I've finished copying and, you know, mirroring it on both sides, let's do a quick overview. Start with the base I showed you. Go up with the rings until one of them is at level 40. This block right here is at level 40. Extra ring on top and fill in this two wide one with vines on the top level and buttons on the bottom level. Alright, now we can get started on the spawning platforms. So, uh... I need this stuff, this stuff, this stuff, and a torch. Should be good. And I will get rid of my sword for now. Alright, so what you want to do is place a layer of blocks here. Oh, need. Well, no, those aren't actually absolutely necessary, but. Oh. Put, want to place a ring of blocks here I recommend filling in this area here with signs but it's not absolutely necessary whatever you do don't fill it in with ladders or trap doors or anything with a hitbox that something can land on very very important now that you've got that you want to come out to and up like this and place a row of sticky pistons. Oops. Oh yeah. Da -da -da. Those should be there. Okay. You can get rid of that. And now you want to place blocks on the faces of all the pistons and fill out this little square. You should be left with two two rectangular areas one just one block shorter than the other to give a spawning platform place a row of blocks behind the pistons another row of pistons and of course mimic the same thing on the other side again a quick reminder signs in this row are recommended but not absolutely necessary all right, now you've done that. You want to um, you want to place a slab here or any type of block. Build up one block and build the same thing again right above it. So I will leave you to that. Be sure to take careful note of where. The, your things line up they should line up on the front and back edges if you think of it being this way forwards they should line up on these edges and on this edge just this one needs to be one in and the sticky pistons should only be where the hole is not over these edges now you've got that done you can see you've got two layers of pistons you want to put slabs over the tops of the rings like so and over the tops of the pistons like so you'll need the slabs on top of the pistons on the bottom layer but not on top of well you'll need the slabs on top of the pistons and this row of the ring on the bottom layer but not on the rest of the ring this is what it should look like on the bottom layer and on the top layer. And uh, now that you've got that done, we should be ready to start spawning some Endermen. Now, 
depending on which side is your front, the direction you'll be coming in from, in my case, this side, you want to go around to the back to do this redstone. What you want to do, sorry about that, overran my recording time. What you want to do is come on this middle area and, uh, how do I do this? Um, you want to build an etho hopper timer one block from this edge and two blocks from this edge. Yeah, that's right. Now, what you'll want to do is um, have your hoppers on this side. Doesn't really matter. I'm just building it this way. Um, this is my front. Yeah, this is my front. So you want to build it with this piston one block from the front and this piston two blocks from the back. Build your normal hopper timer, except don't hook up the comparators to blocks yet. We will... Sorry about that. Um, we will be hooking up differently. On this... On this side, you'll need to place a block, a block up, block, and block. On this block, you want a repeater facing towards this block, and a piece of redstone. We'll put a piece of redstone there in a minute. Hold on. Alright, sorry about that, but once you've got it set up like this, you want to come around to the other side, place two blocks, block up, block over, and blocks like this, place a repeater there with redstone 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 and a repeater oh and don't forget this repeater needs to be set to two ticks all right now on this side no on hang on okay so now that you've got that in place you want to place a torch here on the back side which i keep getting mixed up which side is the front just do the side that the piston is one block away from the edge of the piston line and you'll be fine now you want to place a block up like so and this is the tough part all right sorry about that you need to come over like this and along the line of pistons now they will extend, don't worry about that, it's perfectly fine and normal. You want to place a upside down half slab right there, a upside down half slab right there, and a upside down half slab right there. Run the redstone like this, and across the pistons there as well. Now you'll need to fill in with slabs on top of all the redstone. Be careful not to double slab. And even on top of the redstone here. Now all we should need to do, if I haven't screwed this up horribly, is place 16 items, in my case I will use ender pearls, into that hopper. And your farm has started going. So let's drop back down into the chamber and wait for some endermen. I have been AFK for give or take three minutes, and we are already approaching the mob cap. So, you'll see that if we punch one of these endermen, he won't die. However, if we hit them with a wooden sword, they will die instantly. That is one drawback of this. You have to have at least a wooden sword to kill them in one hit. Sorry, people calling me on Skype. No. Uh, do do. Sorry about that. Uh. All right.
right, so now that we've killed off all the Endermen, we have plenty of Ender Pearls. We've ran out a whole wooden sword. You're going to have to have a good few wooden swords or a better sword to kill these guys off well. But it's, uh, it's better than nothing, and it makes for a really compact Enderman farm. So my name has been Triple Dog Dare. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. And of course, check out the showcase video for this farm. It is amazing. And go build it yourself. Have a great day. I will see you guys later. Bye.